Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto E7 Power and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're gonna start off with the dark mode which can be quickly accessed either see through settings so let's go under the display and we will have the dark theme right here once you enable it there we go there's our dark mode now going back i'm gonna switch it back to the light mode i think on the camera it looks a little bit better so i'm just gonna stick with this one but anyway moving on to the next one it's gonna be the split screen so this will allow you to multitask with two different applications at the same time and uh, start with YouTube because I think it's probably the best candidate for that option. So once you have it, you can tap on the recent, tap on the icon right at the top and choose split screen. This will move YouTube straight to the top right here. And then you can add an additional application to uh, use. I'm actually going to pick Chrome. There we go. So from here, I'm going to mute the device just so it's not copyright strike. But as you can see it is playing something right here and I could be using well, Chrome as you'd normally would and this won't actually pause the video. Additionally if you go home like so as you can see the video is still playing in the background. Now there is no sound because I muted it but it is playing which you can clearly see. But if you completely uh, eat it out of the, your screen or lock the device this will pause the video obviously. So anyway, let's move to the next option, which is going to be the uh, removal of animation. Now, the purpose of this is just to make the device a little bit snappier. It will allow you to access things quicker. Uh, it's not the fastest device, so animations here don't look that great. And to get rid of them, let's navigate into our settings. And then we're going to scroll down to accessibility right over here. You can scroll down and you'll find remove animations. Once you enable this, as you can see, there will be no more animation. Everything just instantly happens without any sort of animation. Now, this might not be for everybody, but for the people that want to make the device feel a little bit faster, this is the way. Moving on to the next option, it's going to be the gesture navigation. As you can see, by default, we do have these buttons at the bottom, but we can add gestures right here. So let's go in to settings again scroll all the way down to system select gestures and you'll have the system navigation and here we have gesture navigation and as you can see it does add this little bar right at the bottom now this is the improved version not the like android i believe it was a 10. Um, so they work the way that you swipe up to go home swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from the side to go back And they work fairly well. Now, additionally, uh, for the people that never use gesture navigation, I know a lot of people when they try to do or use them, they will swipe up on the bar. Uh, so basically on the screen upwards, this doesn't always result in you activating the gesture uh, that you're trying to. It might just result in you trying to swipe up. So uh, to get the home gesture or the recent gesture correctly, what you wanna do is start the swipe off of the screen. So from the bezel upwards. This will ensure that you will always get the gesture correctly. Now, lastly, I'm gonna go into the colors. So let's go under the display section. Go display, advanced, and you will have the colors right here, which will allow you to change uh, how the display displays colors. So by default, it is set to boosted. We also have a standard and we have natural. Now, these do vary in saturations and contrast a little bit each one of them so choose whichever one you want now obviously this picture right here is fairly colorful in certain cases uh, if you have content that is already a little bit l more toned down uh, if you go for something with something like natural the content might look a little bit washed out uh, but in certain cases the boosted or saturated might be a little bit overdone and the colors just are too strong so this is a way for you to kind of tone it down but anyway this is all the tweaks and tricks that i want to share with you and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching